Hey guys, welcome back! The secret of Monkey Island is turning 25 years this month and I've just got here my copy. So, let's celebrate the birthday of one of the greatest point-and-click adventures ever made. This Kix XL 1993 re-release of The Secret of Monkey Island wasn't my first copy of the game. The very first time I tried this title was with pirated floppies that were duplicated in a perfectly normal and legit electronics and computer store utilizing that useful tool known as Xcopy. In late 80s and in the city I live in, it was really hard to grab original games. There weren't many local resellers specialized in this sort of thing and I recall seeing original games only by around 1991. Till then, and since the glorious ZX Spectrum days, piracy was all around. But even for the Spectrum we could find almost perfect copies, with an amazing quality. So, around 1990, when I was all around over the Amiga, I was always anxious to go to school, cause that was the place where I could grab the latest hits. One of those days in late 1990, just before Christmas, one of my friends at school passed over four discs during the computer class and it had this curious phrase written in all of them, the secret of Monkey Island. And I remember thinking, what a strange title for a game, is it about monkeys? By then, I wasn't buying any specialized Amiga magazine and had never heard about this game or practically any other point-and-click adventure. I recall seeing someone playing Maniac Mansion on a PC in a computer fair a few years prior to the release of The Secret of Monkey Island, but never grabbed my complete attention. I think that I just got a bit curious about using the mouse to pick objects and interact with things on screen. So I asked my friend what was this game all about and he said, you know, you need to use the mouse to control this pirate and go doing stuff around this island. Yeah, right, that sounds boring, but thanks anyway. In that lovely afternoon, came home after school, did my homework and placed disc 1 on the drive. My eyes just popped out when I first heard the game's intro music and saw that mysterious mountain with little flashing lights. And you know that I just love adventure and exploration. Needless to say that I went to bed really late that night. It's a bit silly to describe the game, cause I'm pretty sure that even if you haven't played The Secret of Monkey Island, you've already heard all about it. We play as Guybrush Tripwood, that was named after a deluxe paintbrush file placeholder. Guy.brush So Guybrush wants to become a pirate and to fulfill that dream he embarks in this huge adventure that starts in the Melee Island. Collecting unusual objects will turn Guybrush into a skilled pirate and, just then, we can crew a ship and add sail to the mysterious Monkey Island. Sword fighting is a common thing among pirates, but in this game we win these battles by insulting the opponent. I don't know how much grog Gilbert Grossman and Schaefer drank while developing this game, but I can imagine that it was quite a lot. The Secret of Monkey Island is one of the most hilarious titles ever made, and we can't simply die in this game. Well, only if we stay underwater for more than 10 minutes. The designers just wanted to do a completely different experience than the ones that players had while playing, for instance, Sierra's adventure games of the time where, if we did anything wrong, we just end up dead. 
The SCUM engine was a complete revolution putting aside that command line system that would completely scare non-English speaking players who didn't master the language. So this point and click intuitive system simply allows us to enjoy the whole story and forget about guessing the game's vocabulary. Needless to say that from Maniac Mansion, the very first scam video game, to The Secret of Monkey Island, many things were tweaked and improved, making this game's story one of the most fondly remembered by gamers. To create such an immersive game world and related story, Ron Gilbert drank again some grog. Nah, just kidding. He drank inspiration from Errol Flynn pirate movies, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean theme park ride, and Team Power's 1988 book on Stranger Tides. With these three things as an example, Ron Gilbert, Tim Schafer and Dave Grossman worked hard to come up with such a satisfying plot that could entertain even the most unhappy and grumpy players around. I need to also mention the amazing cover art of The Secret of Monkey Island made by Steve Purcell. It's something quite unique, mysterious and absorbing that just by looking at it has the power to make us fly and imagine right away a huge and perilous adventure surrounded by death and romance. Yeah, I believe that I was right about the romance, but not so much about death and peril. And speaking of Steve Purcell, let's not forget the abandoned Monkey Island animated movie that in 2000 was already in development by Lucasfilm and Industrial Light and Magic but was unfortunately cancelled. These Purcell's concept art sketches are all that was left from that attempt. And you're probably guessing, this cancellation opened the doors for the Pirates of the Caribbean movies that, besides the inspiration on that same ride from Disney's own theme park, the ambience and even the film's characters have huge similarities to the Monkey Island franchise. Just take a good look at LeChuck and Captain Teague. There's an obvious resemblance here. Also, the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie is based on Tim Power's book on Stranger Tides, exactly the same book that served as inspiration for The Secret of Monkey Island game back in 1988, when Ron Gilbert started developing it. So, if you still have that childhood dream of dressing up as a pirate, here's your chance to do just that, but without being annoyed or laughed at. And the only question here that really needs an answer is whether or not, after 25 years, The Secret of Monkey Island is still worth playing. Yes it is, but the 1992 CD-ROM edition for DOS, with an improved high-quality CD soundtrack, or adding a hard disk to your Amiga, so that you can avoid that dreadful disk swapping that somewhat ruins the experience. That was how I played it, swapping disk after disk. After finishing it, I promised myself to only play this type of games on the PC and by 1993, when I got my IBM 486DX2, played the game once again and that was when I fell in love with the genre, being completely absorbed by it and later by Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis and Day of the Tentacle, this one developed by those same crazy folks that created the Monkey Island and Maniac Mansions universe. But if you haven't got the patience for getting the Secret of Monkey Island to run on your Amiga or don't wanna restore your old DOS machine but even so want to try it out, there's an updated 2009 special edition which incorporates voice acting, more sound effects, redone music and beautifully hand drawn graphics. It's even better than the original. The relaxed nature of point-and-click adventure games 
was a breath of fresh air for players that were tired of violent and fast-paced action games. Not having to worry about extra lives or credits was something quite uncommon and facing challenging puzzles was always seen as kind of didactical, even if most of them were solved with a crazy and stupid combination of items. 25 years have passed and it seems like I was playing this game just yesterday. <coughs> Actually, I was. Okay, never mind, The Secret of Monkey Island is an intemporal title that will prevail in video gaming history as one of the most important and most beloved pieces of software that really launched the point-and-click adventure genre, even if it died in the beginning of the new millennium. I hope you've enjoyed this look back at a title that deserved a final chapter made by the same designers from the first two games of the Monkey Island franchise. I wasn't very impressed with the later games and wished that Ron Gilbert would once again take over the reins. So guys, place your thoughts below like, share and subscribe to the Pixel Thing for more awesome memories from the golden age of video gaming. And while you're at it, click on these examples, sit back, relax and enjoy those and all the other videos available on my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next week.